Hi guys, it's Beverly. Um, I received a request from Miss Valerie. Um, she's a YouTube subscriber and she's also a Facebook follower and she wanted to make this blanket pattern. It is a very unusual blanket pattern. Um, you're not going to believe how this starts and how it becomes a blanket. So let's get started showing you how to make this blanket. Now this pattern was in a crochet magazine. So that means that basically it was a paid for pattern and I guess I shouldn't give it away but I'm sure it's an older pattern. I didn't see anything on this on the internet so I'm going to make a um, tutorial here and I guess we're going to call it Valerie's Request. So I wanted to show you a picture of the actual blanket. So this is from the magazine and as you can see on the border it does do those two rows of the main color. So their main color is black. And then the last four rows, I think I said, were in a contrasting color. So that's what your blanket looks like. And here's what our sample looks like. So there you can see the border close up and you can see the bumpiness of the shells on my sample. And so that concludes the tutorial for the requested Afghan tutorial by Valerie. Thanks Valerie so much for requesting this uh, tutorial. Hopefully I helped you because this definitely is not a pattern that I have done before. Um, I sent, so the description of this type of pattern is it builds the first row in groups rather than in one long initial chain. It isn't a traditional conventional start but that gives you groups of stitching to work row two into. So that's the description of the pattern. So you start out by making a slip knot. So make your slip knot any way that you want to make it. And you chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now, I gotta refer to my pattern over here. <laughs> now, in it says chain four, three double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So that would be this last one. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna do three double crochets in this first chain. So there's one, two, and three. And I'm sorry if my hook hits this little table I'm working on. Um, because I have the camera here and you guys know it's always real awkward to film. I'm going to see if I can think of something Maybe our sample. I'll put it right there and maybe, and maybe it'll keep it from bumping. Okay, so we've completed our three double crochets in the first chain. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to come over here to our first chain and we're going to do a slip stitch in this chain. Now this pattern was considered 
Ooh, probably our intermediate. So I'm going to assume that you guys already know um, how to chain, double crochet, and do the slip stitch. All right. Now the directions say next to chain nine and do three double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook so here we are okay so we finished our three doubles in the first chain we did a we did three chains we did a slip stitch back in so basically we made our first fan now we're going to do nine chains one two three four five six seven eight and nine i forgot to tell you that this pattern calls for two colors of yarn so i'm planning on using um the white and this uh red heart this the white is the red heart ogo and this multicolor is watercolors from Red Heart. It's an old yarn. It's probably discontinued. Okay. Now I don't want to get my other one hung up in here. So um, I have my nine chains. Get me back in line here. So here's my nine chains. So my first fan and nine chains. Then it says to do three double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook so one two three four and you can go under both loops one loop whatever you want your choice and um you're going to do three double crochets one two three four so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to do three double crochets now what i want to mention we're making another fan another fan and each fan has five strands to it three double crochets i'm getting some more yarn three double crochets and then two chain threes okay so i have a chain three I've done two double crochets, so I need to do a third double crochet. I need to chain three, one, two, and three. Then slip stitch back into this first, the chain where we first started. So now we have two fans. And in between the two fans now are five chains. And we're going to be using those five chains in row two. Okay. So we finished this fan, so we're supposed to do nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the fourth chain, we're supposed to do three double crochets to cr create or start our fan. So let's see, is it three? Yeah, three double crochets. Now it's time to chain three, one, two, and three. Then we slip stick stitch back into this first chain, and my sample went on the floor, so we know how that goes. I'm getting it here, <laughs> trying anyway. Okay, so we now have three 
chains completed or three fans completed and how this is supposed to work is you are supposed to repeat this till you have 27 shells okay so on my you can see what i have right here okay so the next step would be to chain nine and create another shell and here is uh, my sample and you can see here that I did just a swatch and the first row looked like this okay so I had my tail which was over here and you can see how it worked and see in row two you're going to do an inverted um, shell okay so I'm going to do another nine chains and another shell to show you what I mean okay so here we go so I have three shells I'm going to chain nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine now in the fourth chain from the hook I'm going to do three double and when I split the yarn so we're going to go again so we're going to do three double crochets So I have two, three, get some more yarn, chain three, and a single, oh, excuse me, a slip stitch in to that same chain. Okay, now what you would do is you would keep going until you had 27 shelves and you would end without chaining okay and what you're supposed to do is cut the yarn when you're I have to get some scissors okay I'm back with my scissors so what you would do is after you have your 27 shells you would cut the yarn okay and so what I'm going to do rather than cutting it is I'm just going to pull it through okay so that would be your first row of 27 shells and you would fasten it off okay so your fans and then you would turn your work turn your work fasten off the yarn turn your work so the back of the shell is facing you okay then you take your yarn, then you take your contrasting yarn, see this is purple, and you go into the middle stitch. So remember each one of these has five. So one, two, three. Okay, so you go into the three, the third stitch, and I gotta make sure I don't have more than one stitch one two three right there you pull up a loop of your contrasting color okay and you can do a slip stitch or what I do is I just count it as part of my chain three so we're going to do one two three chain three and we're going to make a shell on top of here so a shell is a chain three, three doubles, 
and then chain three. So I'm going to do three doubles. So that's two. So I need one more. And this is all in that third stitch. See, I have two more on the side. And then I need to chain three. One, two, three and do a slip stitch into that same spot okay now I need to slip stitch in these next two doubles so right here is a double and then in the top of the chain three you do a slip stitch okay so what we did over here is our shell from row one we found the third stitch in the top of the third stitch we created a shell which is a chain three three doubles a chain three and slip stitch it to form the five portions of our shell. Now in this five, by doing this sec, these two slip stitches, we're now ready to work in the five stitches. And what we're going to do is here is we're going to do an inverted shell, which is a double crochet decrease okay inverted shell is a five double crochet decrease or a double crochet decrease over five stitches so you take a look and you got one two three four five okay so you yarn over and insert your hook pull up a loop and pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the next chain pull up a loop pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the next chain pull up a loop pull through two yarn over insert your hook in the next chain pull up a loop pull through two yeah oops so sorry about bumping the camera yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop pull through two and now you should have six loops on your hook okay Pull through all six loops and now you're ready for your next shell so we made a shell we made an inverted shell that one might be a little loose but you can pull it from the other side and it kind of spreads it out okay so now let's read what the directions say. Okay, now it says to slip stitch into the next three stitches. So we're going into our next shell. So our first slip stitch will be in the top of that chain three. The first chain three. So I got to try to get it in there. <clears throat> okay. So there's the first stitch, slip stitch, and we're doing three. And that ties our shells together. So that's the first one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. I'm trying to move it over here. So there's 
our third slip stitch one two three now we're going to do a shell which is chain three <clears throat> and three doubles all in the same stitch And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch back into that stitch. Okay. And then now what we're going to do, kind of pull that up a little, is we have two stitches here. We have one more double and the top of the chain three on the show so we have to slip stitch into this stitch you have to find your loop so slip stitch and slip stitch in the top of the chain three which is easier this time and now in these five stitches we're going to do the inverted shell which is a double crochet decrease over five stitches so let's find our loops one two three four five one two three four five okay so we're going to come over here and get our first one it's going to get easier. You know, the first row is always the hardest. Okay, so we're going to do, we yarned over and we pulled up a loop and we're going to pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next chain pull up a loop pull through two and see we have two more to go and that way we'll have six loops on our hook yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop pull through two yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop pull through two we have six loops on our hook pull through all six loops now we're ready for our next and you know try to figure out if it's twisted or not we should be on the back side of our shell okay now the next step is we have to do slip stitches in these first three stitches so in your chain three slip stitch in this next double slip stitch and in the next double slip stitch and what we're going to do is we're going to create another shell so here's what we have so far and we have two shells complete and we did two inverted shells and then here will be where we will do the inverted shells for the next row and if you take a look right here you can see the loops are much easier to get to than they were off that chain because you have one two three four five and you can get those loops for the inverted shell much easier okay so we slip stitched um three on this next shell okay so what we're going to do now we finish that shell so we have two here that we need to slip stitch in so there's a slip stitch and the top of that chain three is a slip stitch there we go 
now I have my five um, chains so you gotta locate them so one two it's kind of twisted so let's see if I can untwist it there we go one two three four and five okay so I'm gonna yarn over insert my hook into that chain which might be a little tricky pull up a loop pull through two yarn over insert my hook pull up a loop pull through two yarn over insert my hook yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop pull through two and there's the last chain right there yarn over and insert the hook pull up a loop pull through two and I should have six loops on my hook pull through all six loops and then on this we are going to go over here and we're going to make one last shell so what you would do is you would do what we've done if you're going to make the blanket the full size you would have 27 of these so they don't have a stitch count on this row but you would just keep going now so consider this your last stitch or your last shell so what we're going to do is we have to make two slip stitches so one in the top of the chain three one slip stitch in the next double crochet one slip stitch in the third or the next double crochet and now we're going to make a shell one two three gotta get some more yarn okay and double crochet one two and three chain three one two three and slip stitch into the same location and there you can see that we have completed row two and you have your shells completed on row one so we can turn it and then see it would look a little bit more pretty okay and this does have a border around it so we have to do the border okay so that is row two now row three it says to go back to your original color which would be in my case white um now this would be one of those blankets that if you wanted to make you know um black and a different color you know i know you guys have seen the, like those stained glass afghans okay now um we're going to turn change to the contrasting color and make the five inverted stitches okay so if you notice on the side on the edges this is what it it looks like okay there's no chain three going up now what i was thinking is 
you're going to have a lot of ends to sew in because you're going to have to change color every other row. Um, I think they're using like three or four different colors. Yeah, it looks like they're doing. Five ounce skeins. A seven ounce skein of the salad color. Okay. And then one, two, three, five ounce skeins of the different colors. And they're using an eye hook with a number four weight yarn. Okay. So there you can see. So that's what the pattern is going to be. So let's go ahead and let's do row three. So you would turn your work and start with your next yarn, which I hate to cut this, <laughs> but I guess I will for you guys. No. I really hate to cut this yarn. See if I can get it from the other side. Nah, it's not really letting me. And I'll do it for you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and fasten this off. Cut this yarn and fasten it off. There we go. Okay, so then what you would do is you would be here and you would fasten off and cut the yarn. Then you would go to your next contrasting color, which in my case is the white. So what you're going to do is the third stitch. So you have this one here and this one and this one. So just like when you joined it for row two, you join your yarn in the third or the center shell okay and you chain three because we're making another shell one two three and then you do three double crochets some more yarn chain three one two three then you're going to slip stitch back down here again and then you're going to slip stitch these two so this pattern is fairly easy it's just stuff that we've never done you know we've never made it a blanket like this okay slip stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch in the top of this chain three to me that's kind of the hardest part because I did my chains a little tight I guess okay so slip stitch and now it's going to be much easier to find these five stitches okay for your inverted um, shell Okay, if you have to turn it maybe a little bit to see them, but see, you have two on each side of this big one, I guess we would say. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we're going to yarn over and pick up that stitch. And like I said, if you have to turn your work to see where it is, So yarn over and pull up a loop. Sorry about bumping the camera. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Pull, pull through two. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Pull through two. Yarn over. Turn it. I have to turn it so I can see my stitch. 
There it is right there. See it? So we're going to get under there. And I know this is going to get much easier. Plus, I got the camera between me and my work. I got one. There we go. Pull up a loop. Pull through two. Yarn over. Sorry about bumping the camera. Yarn I already yarned over, so I just gotta get this stitch. Did it say turn? Yeah, it said turn, so I guess we gotta do it on this back side, because it'd be so much easier if we could just do it on this. Okay, so we've got five or six, and there we go. So we did our first shell on this row. First shell, and now we did our inverted shell, and now we have to come over here, and we have to do two slip stitches so make sure you get in the top of the chain because earlier I got in the side so you slip stitch into the chain three you slip stitch into the next double and then you do a sh oh a slip stitch into the third stitch and then now you make a shell. One, two, three. Yarn over. Do three doubles. One, two, and three. Oh, that was only two. <laughs> Chain three. One, two, three slip stitch into the same stitch and then we have two stitches here so we have to slip stitch into the top of these two one and then here's my chain three so i have to make sure i get the top of the chain three to slip in And then over here you do your inverted. Okay, so yarn over. Locate the five stitches. So there's the big one to start with. And then the two. So the first one is like right there. So yarn over. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop. Pull through two. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop pull through two then the next one is this big loop yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop pull through two yarn over insert your hook <laughs> you could always use a needle and pull those stitches up higher and the fifth one is right there. See, it's right, it's right there. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two. We've got six on the hook. Pull through all six. Then over here, we've got our next chain. Our next shell one. Two, three, four, and this is five. So make sure you slip stitch in the top of the chain because I messed up earlier. I like to get two loops. Come on, baby. Like I said, you can always stick a needle in here. I have one by me. Okay. And see, I don't like to do just one. I like to do two loops. 
there we go slip stitch and then slip stitch through the top of this double and slip stitch in the top of the next double and chain three one two three my nose is itching okay so I've got my chain three and now I gotta finish my shell so I gotta do three double crochets one two one more number three I have to do chain three one two three and a single in that same location no a slip stitch slip stitch now I need to do a slip stitch in these next two so there's the stitch right there which I have to get there we go slip stitch and through the top of my chain three slip stitch there we go and I have to do another inverted shell and see the stitches are more easily seen from the back because I'm one of the insane yarn over insert your hook pull, pull up a loop pull through two I bumped the camera again I'm so sorry yarn over pull up a loop pull through two yarn over pull up the loop pull through two yarn over gotta find that next stitch I got half of it and okay I got it <laughs> pull up the loop pull through two so I got one more to do here yarn over and there's the stitch right there if you guys can see it go under that stitch pull up the loop bump the camera again pull through two pull through all six and then we come over here and we're going to do two slip stitches in our shell okay so top of the chain three which is right there see I went over here before so the top of the chain three get it under there under it with two loops Oop. yeah see if it was closer I might do a little better see if that's good enough slip stitch do a slip stitch in here a slip stitch in the next stitch because these two we're not going to work them so slip stitch in this third one and then we're going to make a shell and see this will give us our edge so if you are doing the full blanket you would keep doing it to the end so see how it's coming out and let's see let's turn it over so you can see it I guess this would be the front yeah this is the front and so the next row would be the variegated or another color. And that's what the blanket is looking like. <laughs> There's got to be another way to say that, but everybody says this is what it's looking like. Okay, so let's see. I got this. This, I don't know if this is a mistake. See how it's pooching out? Oh, maybe it goes like that. Yeah. It's like that I was holding this up and it's not it's like this yeah because this is my beginning tail so you guys got the concept how this works 
This is by Valerie's request. <laughs> Hopefully you guys figured it out by now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more of these and I'm going to come back later in this video and do a border on this so you can see what it actually looks like. Okay guys, so here's my um, sample that I made of the blanket and I just finished on um, a contrast row and now we're going to go do the finish off and start the border okay so obviously you you know you would have a full blanket and um i don't know if you can see but this is the wrong side and how you tell is how the um this is going under see on this on the good side you can see the little edge okay so i just finished up Let's see. I just finished there. Yes, yeah, so I just finished up there. So I'm going to be starting over here to put um, the first border of the first row of the finish. And you can see I'm on the wrong side. And this is where I just cut my contrasting color. Okay. And again, I can tell I'm on the wrong side by how this bottom looks. On the other side, it's more pronounced. I hope you can understand. Or you can, you know, you'll figure out your own. But anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to begin the first row of the border. So what you do is you join your main color in the first double crochet. And in this case, that is the chain three from the previous round. And you slip stitch. And again, we're probably going to be going in these slip stitches, so don't make them too tight. You're going to slip stitch through all five of these okay so you're going to slip stitch over all five of these okay and we have one more here which is in the top of our double crochet Okay, and we don't want to make these slip stitches too tight because we're going to have to go in those when we go around with our border. Okay, so it said do um, a slip stitch in all five of the next double crochets. Okay, then we're going to do an inverted shell in the next. Okay, and then we're going to do five slip stitches, an inverted shell, five slip stitches, an inverted shell, and then at the end of the row, we're going to slip stitch in the last five, okay? So does that make sense? So on your row, you're going to begin in the very first um, double crochet, which is the chain three, and you're going to slip stitch five, inverted, slip stitch five, inverted. And we want these to be loose because we're going to have to get our hook through them when we do rows... There's five rows of border, okay? So I'm going to meet you back when I get this done. So I wanted to show you a picture of the actual blanket. So this is from the magazine. And as you can see on the border, 
it does do those two rows of the main color. So their main color is black. And then the last four rows, I think I said, were in a contrasting color. So that's what your blanket looks like. And here's what our sample looks like. So there you can see the border close up and you can see the bumpiness of the shells on my sample. Okay, so I went all the way across and I did five slip stitches. I did my inverted shell, five slip stitches, inverted shell, five slip stitches, inverted shell, and five slip stitches. And of course, yours would be bigger if you had a full size blanket. But see how it's coming out. Okay. Okay, so what you do is you do, do not turn. You um, chain one and single crochet down the side of your blanket. In the corners, you do three single crochets in the corner. And then you single crochet three in the corner, single crochet three in the corner. Then you're going to fasten off, it says, and turn your work. And you can use your contrasting color for the next row. Okay, I wanted to come back on here and give a couple tips. Now, you'll see on the side of mine, there are ends that need to be woven in. But what I do when I have something like this is I single crochet over quite a few of my ends. And if I can't cover them up completely, then I go back and weave them in. And then these, of course, will have to be weaved in. Another tip that I wanted to mention is they said three crochets single crochets in the corner and four single crochets at the end of each row so i only did maybe two so you could do two to three or four if you want because you don't want it to buckle or you if you put too many it'll get real wavy but i'm definitely going to put four in or at the end of these so if my blanket was bigger for every one of these um see this is a chain from when we first started and see i put four double four single crochets in there and see it, it closed it off and so when i come over here i'm going to do a single crochet in these and then four in here and so on so I'll meet you back when I get done. Okay, I finished going all the way around doing a single crochet. And um, what it says now is to fasten this yarn off and add the um, contrasting, one of the contrasting colors or this. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep going here now it says to pull up the new color in the last single crochet of the previous yarn uh, previous round working from left to right around Afghan chain three skip the next single crochet and then do a reverse single crochet in the next stitch. Hmm. This is kind of weird. Okay. So, it said to turn. So, we're going to, let's see. 
So I got my last single crochet. So I'm going to chain one and turn. I like to do that. Okay, so now we're working on the right side. Yes, we're working on the right side. Okay, so we want to do working from left to right around the afghan, chain three, and skip the next single crochet. Chain three, skip the next single crochet and do a reverse single crochet in the next single crochet so what that's telling you to do because the single reverse single crochets work left to right so we have our chain three and we turned our work now we're going to skip this first one and then in the second one we're going to do a reverse single crochet okay so there's my reverse one then it says chain two skip the next around okay so we did a reverse so we're going to do chain two We're going to skip one and we're going to do a reverse single crochet over here okay so chain two skip one and then do a reverse single crochet in the next one let's see did i get... there we go chain two and do a skip one and do a reverse single crochet in the next one so that's giving us kind of a little loopy loo here <laughs> so chain two skip one and do a single crochet a reverse single crochet chain two skip one do a reverse single crochet chain two skip one and then this next one which is a little tight for me do a reverse single crochet and chain two okay so we're going to do that all the way around and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the center join in the same stitch as the beginning chain three so then that would be over here because you had your chain three so i'm going to put a stitch marker right there and i'm going to go all the way around see you in a minute all the way around with my uh chain two and then my reverse single crochet now the next border it says or the next row don't turn your work but just after you join chain three now they want you to do to continue during the reverse single crochet chain two and you do your reverse single crochet in the chain two space okay so like here i am in chain three because that's what you do first and then the chain right there is the chain two space so i'm going to be doing my reverse single crochet using that chain two space one 
two or chain three space. And so then I locate it over here. I insert my hook, finish my reverse, chain two. There's the chain two space. Insert my hook and do a reverse single crochet. Chain two, find it, and re and do a reverse single crochet. My chain two. So we're going to do that all the way around, and then we have two more rows. <laughs> this is a, a big border. Okay, I'll meet you back when I finish doing this round. You want me to show you how I turned to get back this way? Okay. Now, so I came in like from the left, okay, because that's how we've been doing. I did my chain two, and then I took for just a quick second and turned my work and did a slip stitch. Okay, then I came back. Okay, for this row, they want us to slip stitch. Okay, they want us to slip stitch in the first chain two space and chain one then they want us to go from back to front okay so back would be here to front and slip stitch front and slip stitch back back to front and slip stitch back to front and slip stitch Oop. so you see the working yarn is sorry the working yarn is back here, so, and slip stitch. Yeah, that's working because it was pulling it in too tight when I did it front ways. So, back to front, slip stitch. And try to do it loose because we don't want to bring in our work. And see, I think mine's even a little tight there because like if we pull it out okay so try to do it loose so the working yarn we're going in front of the working yarn back to front and try to do it loose back yarn over yarn over pull it through and see it's still kind of bringing it in but that's what you need to do back to front loose back no back to front back to front and then try to get this to me it's going to be hard but that's what they're going for and then the next row they want us to do reverse single crochets again so it's giving us a nice little border here but that's what it is 
Okay, so I went all the way around with those slip stitches. And like I said, you're going to have to try to make them loose um, because you don't want your blanket pulling in. Now here's my last slip stitch. So the last row says to do, to chain one and do a reverse single crochet in each slip stitch around and join in the beginning chain one. Okay. So let's go ahead and chain one. And so it doesn't say to turn your work. So we're going to be working left to right on this because we want our right side. And see, you can tell this is the right side because our um, shells are kind of poofed up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a reverse single crochet in this first slip stitch. So you go into the stitch and do your reverse and we're not going to be doing any chains. So you're just going to go into the next slip stitch and do your reverse. And then the next slip stitch and the next slip stitch okay and see you want to kind of pull it out like that and then try not to go back in the same one and see it we had to do it Lucy Lucy goosey because we didn't want to draw in the sides of our blanket. So we want to go all the way to this one. And go in. And go in, and I'm getting towards the corner. So let's see. And get some more yarn. I think I'm kind of twisted because I've been going back and forth with this. Okay. So I just went in this one, so that means I have to come over here. And I think what I'm going to say, if you need to do a second one in there to get around the corner, you can maybe do that. Or just make your loops big enough that you can go around the corner without distorting it. And so then we're in this one. So we want to go over here. And then over here. And so you're supposed to do that all the way around. And that's going to give you your border. So it is kind of pretty. Thanks guys for watching. Love you. Bye. And so that concludes the tutorial for the requested Afghan tutorial by Valerie. Thanks, Valerie, so much for requesting this uh, tutorial. Hopefully, I helped you because this definitely is not a pattern that I have done before. Um, I sent